coffee. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, cephalopods. As you saw in the title, this is the Firefly... Oop, there's a bit of reflection there. Firefly Cargo Crate. I could not find my video camera or even my webcam, so I'm actually recording this on my Mac. And I'm just hoping that the audio quality is going to be picture perfect. But yeah, here we go. Firefly Cargo Crate. I have been waiting for this for a while because I'm a huge Firefly fan. Flan? I'm a flannel. I'm a Firefly flannel. Firefly flan. Fire... I am a Firefly fan. Nailed it. Anyway, here's my Firefly crate exported from Persephone. Uh, it's actually a very nice crate. Uh, I did cause a little bit of damage. Like, this is where the uh, shipping thing was. I got all the way to here. And it was silent when it first started tearing. And then when I got to here, it's like, Tsh! and I was like, oh no, it's tearing. And I looked, and it was just like, Pff! ah! But yeah. Um, it's very nice design. It's literally something I would expect from the Firefly universe, kind of. I mean, it is just cardboard. But, we're gonna get right into it. Uh, I have had a little quick look at everything that is inside already. Document, share, enjoy. Um, what's that say? That says... Fragile? I think it says fragile handle of hair. But, here we go. So this is gonna be this is actually like my first unboxing video, so I hope let me know how it how it goes. I'm gonna start off with this wonderful teddy bear, which is um Keely Bear. So so it's a bear of Keely. Well I knew it was Keely, but I don't remember it. I was trying to remember if it was anything from the show. That's that's gonna be causing so much problem on the audio. Hmm. Okay, now that we've got that really horrible bag off, which, like, at first thought, I did not think about the damage that I'd probably be doing to your ears. And this is absolutely adorable. So this is, like, Keely Bear. So it's literally just, like, a plush of Keely, I'm guessing. I don't remember it from the show or anything. It's literally just a little bear that's got her, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, boiler suit, I guess? I was about to call it lapels, but they're not lapels. It's, it's a boiler suit. And this is absolutely adorable. And I love this to bits. This will be going up on my shelf, right next to my desk. And it's... Look at it, little face. Oh, Let's po poke your ears out. Your ears are a bit flat, shall we? So you look like a happy little chappy. And there we go. I like to leave the labels and stuff, so you can just sit there. Next we have got some... Keely's Shining... Oh no, Shindig, I cannot read, Shindig parasols, which are literally, I think they're just literally teeny tiny, like, drink parasols, which I'm probably never going to open these. They're just probably going to stay in there forever, because I wouldn't want to waste them on anything, so let's just pop those down here. We have got this wonderful Everything Shiny Cap'n badge, which is just absolutely, I am in love with this badge. I don't know where I'm going to put it, because I always end up losing badges. Um, if I get this close enough to the camera, there we go. Everything's shiny cap'n, and it's got lovely colouring on it, and it's just, it's really nice. And I have no idea what I'm going to do with that, because every time I end up with a badge, I end up losing it. So we're just going to close this. There's still more stuff, but I just wanted to go straight into... Let's open up this little fella, because it's a flyer... F fly... <sighs> Ever since the Firefly Flan incident, beginning of the episode, I'm just, just dead, just dead. A Firefly Cubits. So this looks like it's a very tiny little figure. And I'm hoping that they might actually do this for every crate that's a Firefly one, because I plan on getting them all. Um, uh, my computer screen just went black for a second there. I need to see, what I'm, I need to see what's going on. But yeah, well, let's open these. How do you open it? There's a little pulley tab, but I can't get the pulley tab off. What was the point in that pulley tab? That was useless. Anyway, okay, here we are, and we have got... Hey, we got Jay Jane! The hero of Canton, the man they call Jane. I am happy with. Is he... Oh, he's... I can't tell if he's posable or not. I might just be breaking him. But here we go. We have got Jane. 
And by the looks of it, we literally have every single character who is a part of the crew. Um, including Wash, the poor bubs. He's a leaf in the wind. And then he decayed. Um, but yeah, that's, this is cute. This is cute. It's a little... He's on the floor. God damn it. Can he stand? Can you stand up? Is that a thing? Or are you just going to keep falling? Is the weight of your head too much? Um, before we get onto this, we're going to go through what else is in the box. Because there's a few little paper bits. So these are damaged. So that's bent out of shape and stuff. That's very nice. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it. It's not damaged that much, but it's still kind of annoying. So these are, I believe, cards for this, which is a Firefly board game. Or something or other. So, um, but this is a Loot Crate Silverhold. Um, fruity Oat Bar. Oh, the Fruity Oat Bar from um, the Serenity movie. Where the Miranda thing and the trailer. and You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Um, and then this is a Loot Crate exclusive card, which is bent out of shape, so that's you now worthless. I Oh, this is something that I am extremely excited about. The Exporting from Persephone sticker, like what it's got on the side here. Um, and this is just like a sticker, which I might actually stick on the Mac that I'm using at the moment. And then here we have got... Oh, wow, what is this? Original Firefly concept art by Timothy Earls. We'll get into this in a second. Um, then you have the generic, like, Firefly... Oh, no, hang on. What is it? Oh, yeah, no, this is, uh... Yeah, this is literally just the whole... Uh, this is what is in the crate and stuff, and kind of. Um... Uh, Akili cosplayer... It, it's, it's nothing that I think would be worth time on this video. Because I want to get to this, because this sounds exciting. Right, so we'll get to this in a minute. I'm just going to have a look at all of this. That's my phone going off. Wonderful goodness. So here we have blueprints for... Oh, the Reaper ship. We have blueprints for the Reaper ship. And more blueprints for the Reaper ship. Alright, so this that's the uh, Magna Claw, which we know about from, I think it's... One of the first few episodes. It might be, actually be the first episode when they pick up um, the passengers and then a reaper flies over and stuff like that. You know. You know what I'm talking about. But that's cool. These are actually going to stay right back in here until I figure out what to do with them. If they do, like, concept art every month, might get, like, a huge frame and stick those all in that. Uh, we're actually going to move this just for a sec. Just over there. And now here we have the... QMX Mini Masters figure of Kile, and this I am excited for. They're going to be doing one of these with every crate, so it'll be nice to have like a mini collection of them once it actually comes out. And it's all sort of taped up. Great. Okay, so I got it open with this knife. Uh, it made a lot of noise, a lot of unpleasant tree sounds and stuff, and I'm pretty certain it almost broke this parasol, which is very nice. Like, you are now under my control. You will like and subscribe to this video. I'm joking. Um, so we've got to put this together ourselves, so we're going to do that right now, and then that will mark the end of the first ever Firefly Loot Crate. Which, I mean, all in all, this has been amazing. And I would absolutely love to get them all, really. I can't fit Keely. Am I putting her legs? I keep saying her name really weird as well. Keely. I can't fit Keely onto the stand. So we're off to a great and wonderful start, ladies and gentlemen. Where I can't actually even fit her onto the stand. Which, I do love it when companies, they'll give you a stand, and it won't actually fit the character. I love it when stuff like that happens. Look at that. Uh, so that's a bit of a... Hmm. That's a bit of a no-go. Will it fit at all? Oh, it's kind of fitting this way. Okay, so it kind of fit that one. Uh, I'm trying my damn hardest, my goram hardest, some might say, 
to not break her because she does feel a little fragile. I don't think she is super fragile, but she feels it. Like I don't think she would survive a fall off of a shelf. She kind of feels ceramic, but I, she's not. She <coughs> sorry has a ceramic feel to it, but I can tell it's not ceramics. Um, let's just stick this here shiny umbrella. Which is not going to fit there either. So where does it go here? There were no instructions with this here umbrella. There were no instructions with it at all, might I add. So uh, I'm now just double checking. Yeah, there was no instructions, but we managed it. We managed it. So it's a very nice little statue of Keeley. And I am in love. It's very shiny. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I like how uh, I I hope they bring out like um once they've brought out enough uh crates for the, all of the crew they just bring out a shiny crate and it's just filled with like glitter and stuff like that but yeah so here we go this is the shiny 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 Keely Firefly loot crate rubbish on my table rubbish on my table. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. If you want to see more unboxings, um, leave a like down below or a comment to say more unboxings. Or if you think I should never do an unboxing again, please do be sure to leave a comment to tell me I'm stupid. Yay. But anyway, guys, peace out. Much love. Farewell.